We are releasing hold and giving our thoughts, our feelings, our perceptions that may be still containing traces, remnants of a separate self, of a separate me. Thoughts, feelings based on that separate me that get stressed. With anxiety about the future. And that let go fully of the past. Thoughts and feelings based on lack. I have not enough. It's not enough or I don't know how to make it financially or in my workplace or with a loved one. This sense of lack rooted in the core feeling that we carry to some degree. I am not good enough. I don't have enough. or the other side of the same coin. I am too much. I am a burden to others. In a way, maybe I am a burden to myself course not the true I but these remnants of a separate me carrying these old ideas about myself to be myself based on a separate limited Body mind. All of these 
thoughts that don't match our understanding. of being loving awareness of pure consciousness unlimited an indivisible whole that nothing can be added to, nothing can be taken away from. Always fulfilled, always content, Fearless. Shining in its own light. Self-luminous. Always free and independent. independent and free of thought, feeling, perception, independent and free of the content of those thoughts, feelings and perceptions. not essentially indifferent to those thoughts, feelings, and perceptions, but not dependent in the sense of the contentment and the happiness and the peace, being not dependent on so-called positive thoughts, feelings, and perceptions, images about myself, about the world, about others. Simply always okay with whatever is appearing in it.
including thoughts and feelings and ideas that we may have labeled as ego or ignorance. It would be ego or ignorance itself trying to push those away. I don't want to be frustrated. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to have anxiety. I don't want to feel separate. I don't want to think on behalf of a separate me, which I already know that I am not. To try any of those to push them away would be to hold on to them. To make them again mine. To have an agenda with them and the one that is having an agenda with them. Is that ego? Is that ignorance? What we resist, persists. No, oh, releasing hold or, or giving oneself, giving, offering. Those so-called negative thoughts and feelings. Feelings and thoughts that don't match our understanding of what we truly are. We, we release hold by simply allowing them to be, welcome them equally. To those feelings that we like, those thoughts that we like. Releasing hold, not engaging in wisdom. Letting them be as they are. Is taking naturally the stand of that which we are.
all we have to do, so to speak, is seeing those thoughts and feelings and possibly sense perceptions, ideas, seeing them for what they are, remnants, traces from the past. Having a momentum with most of us, we've been practicing all our life to think on behalf, to feel on behalf of a separated, limited body mind. So those thoughts and feelings have a strong momentum, they are kind of hardwired into the body mind. They appear to be personal. The art of welcoming them as they are to allowing them as they are, ignorant or not, egoistic or not. This is making them impersonal. They come up with a sense of me, especially painful feelings often come up with a very strong, strong sense of me, of personal identity. So any personal agenda in the moment of their upcoming any wanting to be them in a certain way to wanting to be me in a certain way is just reinforcing this illusion this ignorance this misunderstanding the old confusion of a separate me. The agenda, so to speak, belongs to the ignorance, belongs to the separate me, belongs to the ego. So, when we are able to simply see them for what they are, Without this agenda of this separate me, not only the, do we release hold of those thoughts and feelings, we also release hold of the me in them, so to speak, of the personal identity in them. Um, 
In other words, we release this dua. This old dua based on this sense of lack, of not being good enough, or this fear of being too much. With its following millions of tactics of covering, justifying, defending, acting upon that sense of lack or upon that fear. But as the understanding of our wholeness, our completeness, our infinity, our eternity, lands and grows in us. It's less sticky, so to speak. It's this hold, it's this holding on. To this separate self, to this separate me, this with its agenda based on lack and fear. It's understanding that helps us to release hold, to give up those old habits, those old ideas. of separation in us. This very silent knowing of our okayness that we were tuning in in the beginning, this understanding allows us to be fearless. Lackless, if such a world exists.
this illusory separate me It's like an old habit of making a fist, contracting my hand to a fist. And after a while of practicing to contract myself, to tense myself. Eventually, this habit becomes almost natural. The, the holding on to the fist becomes our second nature. And then it seems like an effort to release hold, to let go of the contraction and to open. That contraction where in reality this openness is our nature. 